Hello gentle viewers, this is Avindian, welcoming you to a new episode of Out of the Park Baseball 19. Um, first of all, before we actually go into the next thing, I just noticed this cool, that you could actually change the windows on this screen, which is really cool. Um, so we're actually going to make a couple of quick changes. We're going to change this to who's hot. Um, I know who I am. I don't need any help with that. Um, I can have it on this page, which avoid me having to click. Oh, it doesn't have everything, though. Mm. Um, top prospects. That's pretty handy. This gives you, at a quick glance, who's doing well and who's not doing so well. Bad year for Sixto Sanchez. But, uh, good year for these two. Um, and then we'll change your next game to actually we'll put the goals up here and then what do I want down here maybe we'll put the team stat rankings up here that's pretty handy so yeah barely based purely on this we actually had a pretty darn good season apart from the stolen bases in the bullpen um, so what we're going to be doing today is we'll first start by looking over, yeah, he's not super happy because he wants me to win a title, but maybe we'll get lucky, um, is we're going to take a few moments and we're going to look over how the team did, and then we're going to go directly into the playoffs. First of all, Francisco Lindor had an absolutely insane season. <laughs> Not only did he set career highs in batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging, uh, didn't hit quite as many home runs, but hit more doubles and more triples, and played more games, uh, stole 20 bases, but he also played a very, very strong shortstop. And this is why Francisco Lindor is almost worth anything he asks for. Um... This was a phenomenal season. You can't really find any faults in his game this year. Um, he even cut down the strikeouts. And that's normally one of the hardest things for a, a major league hitter to do. Is cut down strikeouts, but still keep power. And he did both of those things. So, Derek Fisher turned in another respectable season. Um, almost a mirror image. He hit for a slightly higher average, but... Didn't slug quite, quite as well, mostly due to the loss of triples. Which, for those of you who follow baseball quite closely, you know that triples are almost impossible to predict. Um, in a place like, say, the old Metrodome, where there was artificial turf, it would actually have been quite common to see triples. But now that no one uses artificial turf anymore, it's hard to expect. Um, basically, he played more and accumulated more hitting statistics, but was slightly, just the tiniest bit worse. Um, again, mostly due to the lack of power because he didn't hit as many triples. Um, and how did Fisher handle right field? I think he was probably still pretty good. Um, we could find someone better, but he's also right fielder, so who cares? Uh, one of our big free agent signings was this fellow here. Shung Suk Sin, uh, who had an outstanding season, hitting 40 homers and 40 doubles, joining the 40-40 club. Um, his profile suggests he might be a little bit better at contact, but when the guy hit 266 and hit 40 bombs, you can't really complain with that much. Um, he was kind of a lost cause in left field, though, and that may, might mean we have, might have to make some changes there, maybe make him a DH down the road. But for now, I will happily trade slightly inefficient defense for a big-time bat. Um, Yoan Moncada, again, not really reaching his offensive potential yet. There's still lots of room to grow, especially in power and discipline. Um, he did draw a fair number of walks. Um, his contact could have been a little better, and he even hit a for a decent amount of power. But his plus war mostly comes from good defense and good base running. Um, don't forget there is a position adjustment. So I am perfectly happy with this uh, with this season from him. 
although I think there's more to come. If he can max out his plate discipline, I'll probably make him a leadoff hitter. Because I really like to get Lindor at third if we can pull that off. Uh, the next best player, um, this guy's been a real revelation. Uh, Chase, I don't know if he's French. I can't want to call him Vio, especially since he's from Louisiana. But it might be Valet. I don't know. If you're a big time fan of Chase Valet, who in real life, um, I don't know who he played for. Maybe the Mets? The Royals. So if you're a real big time fan of the Royals, and you're like, hey, that guy's name is Chase Valet, you can just tell me. Um, he did an outstanding job. He's actually a little bit better on a rate basis last season, but he just did a great job of hitting for power. He drew some walks. It looks like he can get better in both of those areas. Um, and he played, he was a fairly good catcher. Uh, he did allow quite a few passed balls, and that will get better as he gets more experience at the position. Because remember that this rating up here is about his experience at the position, so the more he plays catcher, the better he'll get. Um, with a bat like this, I will happily take slightly below average defense. Now we come to Willie Calhoun. And Willie Calhoun wasn't quite as good as he was last year. Again, he played more, so his war was higher. But this was actually a bit of a setback. Um, his on-base percent, everything dropped on a rate level. He did steal three bases. And he did hit a bunch of homers and a bunch of doubles. What what we might do, is he any good at all in the outfield? He really isn't. Calhoun then presents an interesting challenge because he can't really play the field. He's a very good hitter when he wants to be. If he's hitting 300, he's a lot more valuable. But as Seen gets older... Eh... We need to find a position for Calhoun. And I don't know what that position is. Um, our other rookie that went somewhat under the radar because he didn't play as much is Jordan Alvarez, um, who had a very fine year with the bat, driving in 15 home runs, uh, hitting 11 doubles. I like to see the double numbers come up. Um, and doing a very good job of getting on base. Um, he handled first base pretty well. He's not so great at left field, so I'll have to keep that in mind. But he actually played pretty strong at first base in 67 games, only having one error. Error is, of course, hugely subjective, but it's nonetheless encouraging to see. Um, Albert Almora is... <sighs> For a hitter with his gap power and his contact, I really shouldn't be seeing a 250 average. Um, I should be seeing closer to a, two, a 270 average, and I should be able to see at least a plus 400 slugging percentage. Um, yeah, he was quite a bit worse than league act, mostly because he doesn't draw walks. And he's only a little bit better than average at center field. This might actually be an area that we need to upgrade in in the not-too-distant future. I'd hoped for bigger things from Almora. It just seems like he's not capitalizing on the talent he has. Now, of course, he'll get another season because last season was actually quite a bit better. And maybe this was just a bad season for him. If we look at Babip. Uh, he was okay. I mean, we'll keep him in the back of our minds as someone to maybe replace. Um, Senzel was a tiny bit disappointing. Um, but his skill set's still coming around. He's supposed to be a well-rounded hitter. Um, he did hit for decent average, didn't draw so many walks. That needs to change, especially given his discipline. Um, hopefully that will come with time. Um, wait, what? Wait, what is this stuff? Oh my god, I didn't even know this existed. Can I see this in the actual fielding stats? So basically they're saying what percentage of different types of plays he made. So he made 91% of the routine and 86% of the likely plays. Looks like he, he's kind of limited in range. Um, which, his profiles, can we get that in the fielding stats? 
I would be extremely interested to see that. No, you can't. Okay, OTP19. If any, if anyone from the game is watching, that needs to be something I can see without having to go through six or seven different menus. That's so useful. And it provides so much more context for how good someone actually is at fielding. So let's look at Lean Door, for example. He made all the routine plays, some of the unlikely plays, uh, a little under the even, made some of the unlikely and some of the remote. What is IMP? Im oh, impossible, maybe. So that's saying that of all the plays he faced, 114 of them were impossible. He couldn't have gotten to them. This is really cool. Yeah, OTP19, this needs to be a thing. This needs to be something that I can put on a screen so I can look at it. Um, other than that, we got a fairly good season out of Voight. Um, he only really faced left-handed batters, but he did a pretty good job with them. Um, and did he handle first base okay? He was decent. Um, Geddes is a possible replacement because he offers a lot more with the stick than Almora does. And he's even about as good in center field. He's even a, an even better right fielder. Now the problem is we've already got a lot of people with Geddes' skill set, which is getting on base and hitting for power, but not much else. Um, this might be an area we eventually upgrade at. And even Mojica played okay. He wasn't an amazing hitter, but he's not expected to be. And he was pretty good behind the plate. So I'm very pleased with the offense. Let's look at the pitching. What is our war? Oh, that's based on... um. Runs allowed per nine innings. I keep saying that. Instead of, I think war takes ERA. and So, like, if there's a big difference between FIP and ERA, I'd expect war to, or our war to be a little bit kinder. But, in any case, Kluber and Severino and Gray did their jobs beautifully. Um, can't really complain too much about them. All had very decent strikeout-to-walk ratios. Kluber's was the best, obviously. The problem is, is we didn't get a lot of value from anyone else. And Chase and Shreve, I think, at this point has to be considered a bust. And we need to find a new lefty specialist. Because no matter how many people he strikes out, he just walks so many more. And this season, I told him only to face people that he was a le that were lefties. Let's take a quick peek. See if there is a split. How many righties did you face? The other possibility is we just say you never face anyone other than lefties. And we'll see. Maybe we'll give him one more season. Because he's super cheap. Um, and I got him. And it's worth seeing exactly what he can do before we decide if he's worth moving on from. The rest of the bullpen was kind of meh. Um, Sean Doolittle in particular. Trevor Rosenthal, at this point, was probably the worst signing we made, as he lost 10 games. Um, if he'd even won half of those, or just didn't lose half of those, he definitely cannot handle being a, um, a setup guy. Did he get better as the season went on, or did he get worse? Let's look at his game. Oh, you can check his splits here now, too. That's so much more useful. He was about the same with righties and lefties. Not really any drastic differences there. Rosenthal could still be useful, but he's not the kind of pitcher that we're that interested in. I didn't promise you being the closer. I don't remember that. Did I? Hmm. Um, okay. So he needs. So we need to hope for a bounce back from Shreve to really improve the bullpen. Doolittle was a tiny bit disappointing too. Um, he had two WAR last season. This year, despite a lower BABIP, his walk rate went up, and that's not something we should expect from him. So I'm really hoping he can get the walks under control, and especially the home runs, because if he can, he'll be a much more valuable reliever.
Uh, Nate Jones put in a very good year. Ben Heller was okay. He wasn't brilliant, but he was okay. Actually, among relievers, I think he was the best. Um, Pobsey put in an acceptable year as a long reliever. The problem is his ceiling isn't that high. So what we might do is let him get a full year in AAA to see if he can make something of himself as a starter. And I do think we're going to be shopping for free agent for more bullpen help in the offseason. And maybe an upgraded center field if we can find one. Um, with that said, I promised you playoff action. And playoff action is exactly what you're going to get. So we're going to take our very first peek at the brand new revamped 3D mode. Actually, before I do this, I should save the game really quickly. I'm going to go back for a second. I just want to save the game. So, this is just me being a little bit paranoid, because the very first time I tried to look at the 3D mode in OTP18 after it was released, the game crashed. Um, and I don't want the game to crash. So, we'll hit play game at Baltimore. Okay. So, right away, there's some really cool stuff going on here. Um, it lists the lineup and the starting pitcher, which is all lovely. But here shows you the edge at each position. So we've got a better leadoff guy, a better number two, a better number three hitter. They've got a better cleanup guy. They've got a better number five and a number six. We've got a better number seven. Hi, Carlos Santana. Uh, they've got a better number eight. And then we've got the better catcher. So this is a really cool new addition to the game. Auto set relievers. No... Um, I will let the AI handle the defense because I find that very boring and hard to follow along. Um, do I want to make any changes to the lineup? I don't think I do. What I think we'll do next season, um, I won't do that now because it's not that big a deal. I'd like Lindor to get some more scoring or RBI opportunity. So I think what we'll do is we'll push him down to three and push Scene down to four. I think that'll be a good idea. And leave Fisher in at five, and then we'll sort out the rest of the lineup as it happens. Not so good this year against Baltimore. He's still Corey freaking Kluber. I will take a very quick look at something, though. Oh, this is so much... Oh, this is amazing. Look at all this extra information you get. Um, I wanted to see how rested Kluber is. Okay, he pitched five days ago. He's good to go. Okay. This is so handy. Uh, they really went all out. I'm really impressed. Um, we have modern 3D, modern 2D, classic. Let's do modern 3D. Large labels. I do want player photos. I do want the real player models. Sure. Ball size normal. I want a fairly minimal delay between plays. All this looks... Uh, we'll do per line. Yes, let's start the game. Okay. Oh, that looks amazing. I haven't even done anything yet. Um, I hope you guys don't get too much sound right now. Um, can I actually warm people up from here? <gasps> oh my god. I am so excited. This is amazing. This is the greatest... Wow. It looks so pretty. So the, the team we're facing, it doesn't look like a super great at defense besides Manny Machado. So let's see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and tell him he can uh, have his at-bat. Ready for baseball. Shohei Itani is going to face Moncada. Moncada draws a walk. Good work. Uh-oh. We have to make a change. I don't see my very favorite thing. Hang on. Oh, uh, what's the wide camera? Oh, yeah, I actually like the wide camera view a little bit better. It's a little bit easier to see what's happening. 
not automatically set up widgets. Because I want the pitching widget. Why can't I change my views? Let's just sim again. I see this lets you turn on pitch by pitch or not. That's going to be a double play. Oh no! Good job, Moncada. Um. Okay. Oh, here's some things here. Okay. Yes, definitely. I want the pitch location widget. I don't care about the defensive positioning. What's a team info widget? Eh, don't care. That's kind of stupid. And we'll ignore the out-of-town scores. Alright, I will go ahead and have you automatically set up the widgets. I just want to be able to see this stuff. Because I think that's really cool. Alright, so let's swing away. Another walk for Otani. He's having real struggles. Um... Doing things, but it doesn't tell you what kind of pitch it is. That's how much energy he's got. Okay, this is actually kind of frustrating then. This doesn't tell you the swing information. Is there another widget for that? Okay, OTP, that is definitely something I want to see. I want to actually see what pitches are being thrown and where they're located. Um, maybe no one else cared about that information, but I did very deeply. Alright. Now, Calhoun's got pretty good contact. He's got really good contact. Do we try it? No, we're not going to do hit and run. I'm just going to tell Calhoun to do what he thinks is best. That's going to be a fly ball out. Yep. Um, if you click on the microphone, by the way, there is actual commentary. Let's try it. Oh, no, maybe there isn't. Where would he hit the ball? Oh, he hit it down the first baseline into right field. Good work. That's a pair of doubles. Nice. I do have a thing where you can... No, they just let you quick sim. See, it looks like they're color... Maybe color coding pitches, maybe. But if that's the case, I don't know which pitches are color coded as what. Um... Hmm... Yeah, please bring back please bring that back OTP. Unless there's just something I'm missing. Maybe something's not being clicked properly. Oh, that's a good long swing. Up, oh, didn't quite make it out, but it is still a triple for Alvarez. Good work, mate. Good work. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, Rook, let's see how you handle things. Oh, they pull out Otani already. And he gets a weak ground ball to first. Oh, that's really cool. I like it. All right, Kluber, let's get it done. Strike some fools out. That's not a strikeout, but it might be a fly ball out. Yeah, it's a pretty lazy pop fly. That was a really bad pitch to hit. That was really bad. Oh, uh, that one was a little bit better. Oh! Nice sliding catch, Fisher. Man, these guys are swinging at everything. Okay, since that last pitch was 87. Or 84, rather. That's probably a curveball. But see, I can't freaking tell because you won't bloody tell me. Um, okay, is there anything else here? 
if we quickly change to the modern 2D view, does it give me more information? No, it doesn't. And I like the 3D view better anyway. I think it looks better. Alright, fine. Here's Kluber again. Another fly ball. He's lotting quite a few fly balls, but so far none of them have been particularly dangerous. Um, they're kind of like lazy pop, lazy fly balls. Alright, here's Almora. He's going to be facing Dinelson Lamet right to first base. Um, Lamet had an okay year, it looks like. The ERAs have been on the high side. What kind of pitcher are we looking at here? So he's got really good stuff, but mediocre control and really bad movement. So with really bad movement... Oh, you missed that pitch, mate. Well, so with really bad movement, we should expect to see a lot of very hard hit balls. And he just got struck out. Um, a walk for Lamet. Excellent work from Moncada. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let Moncada try to steal second. Wait, are there one outs? Or... No, there's two outs, so we don't want to do that. Come on, Lindor. Let's move him up. Oh, that was perfect, but the outfielder might get there, and he did. That was a good play by Conforto. He had to make that at a dead run. All right, Kluber. Why is everyone walking everyone? What the shit, guys? At least Conforto's not much of a um, walk threat. Or stealing threat. There we go. Struck out Manny Machado. Can we strike out Justin Williams too? Nope. I just kind of bounced right in front of him. Okay, really? Almore, you should have been up and thrown with that. That was on you. Um, right. Oh, no. What is with these slow-ass reaction times? That's their first run. Which I don't really blame him for. Oh, he actually dropped that one. But then he still got it over there. Runners on Runner on third. One man out. Or two men out. What the shit? Okay, Corey Kluber doesn't make like two wild pitches in a month. And he just made two in this game. What the hell is going on, Kluber? Well, at least Lindor made the play to get him scope out. I think that probably means both of his runs are unearned, even though they're totally his fault. Strike three. Oh, there goes Scene. Yeah, Scene had no business swinging at those pitches. Strike three. You had no business striking on those, swinging on those. Come on, guys. And there he goes. We're going to increase the play-by-play -play speed. Because we can see what's happening. Let's put it on fast. Alright, Kluber, you got to get your stuff together. Strike three. That's a good start. And I hope the umpire saying he went around. Because number six there was quite a ways outside the strike zone. Uh, Castro at that ball very hard. And it's a home run. Okay, you're supposed to be getting this done, Kluber. I picked you specifically because you're my best pitcher. But apparently I should have picked Luis Severino. Your stamina's fine. You've thrown 50 pitches. You seem to start getting people out. I'm going to tell you to take pitches. Take a pitch. Yeah, what we're going to try to do, because it looks like he's actually already reaching his stamina limit. I'm going to be very, very... I was actually high in the strike zone. That was not a strike, but okay. 
We worked the count. I don't even care if that's an out. Oh, it's a double. It must have gone off the wall. Good work, Alvarez. All right, Senzel. Okay, yeah, now they had to bring in a new pitcher, and it's Mike Soroka, who doesn't have great stuff, but it looks like is pretty good at putting the ball where he wants to. Oh, you move the runner up, Senzel. That's got value. Now, Mora, you have to hit it? No. That was the one place you couldn't have hit it, you stupid idiot. You should have been swinging at that pitch anyway. But, you know. And now no one scores. Because Senzel, because Almora couldn't get it freaking down. Here comes Kluber. A nice, easy ground ball out. Whatever reason, Kluber does not have his best stuff today. I know it's kind of silly to say for my man who's only given up three hits in four innings, but he should be striking people out, and he's not. At least I'm more made up for it with a good defensive play there. Uh-oh, that's trouble. That's another run. No, it wasn't actually. Good arm on Fisher. All right, we gotta we gotta take care of scope. There he goes. A nice easy pop fly. Bring it in, Lindor. There he goes. Okay. Oh, we got Moncada facing Soroka. And it's another out. Gets a lot of ground balls with this guy. Oh, that's a fly ball for Lindor, and it went off the wall, so that's a double. There we go. All right, scene. They brought in a lefty to face you. That's an insult. Make him pay for his insult. No, not with the weakest ass ground ball I've ever seen. Come on, Calhoun. Yes! There we go. Break this tie game. Good work, Calhoun. It's no Rory Calhoun, but... Oh, off the catcher. I wouldn't call that a wild pitch. I'd actually call that a pass the ball. That went off the catcher. He walks Fisher. We now got runners on first and third with Alvarez up, who's not great against lefties. Who are my bench options? Like, just let me look at them. Oh, I don't get, like, a cool little button I can click on to bring up my pinch hitters. That's fine. Um, game options. <sighs> I would like to see your split versus left-handers. I could bring in Voight to pinch hit. But here's the thing. Alvarez has been so good this game. I think we have to give him a shot to prove it. He didn't do it. But that wasn't his fault. That was mine. I know I could have brought in a new player. But I decided to give him his shot. Alright. Kluber's thrown 68 pitches. I, As long as he can keep things under control this inning. We should be able to get at least 7 out of him. Good play by Almora. Oh, that was very nearly an infield single. That's a harmless fly ball out. So we're going to get six innings out of Kluber. Even if they haven't been his usual outstanding six innings. Oh, Senzel is not doing well in the playoffs. Which this is. I know technically it's a regular season game. So all these stats count, by the way. Yeah, Almora, if you'd taken off for a second there, I would have punched you right in the face. That was an that would have been one of the dumbest decisions you could have ever made. 
Ooh, yanking it down the third baseline. Very smart base running. Wait, how did Elmora score? Okay, I want to see that again. There's a button here to replay play-by-play. -play. Where did I see it? Okay, what happened here? Okay, so left fielder gets the ball, and he throws it to the cutoff man. Okay, that needs to be fixed. Um, hopefully they correct that. Because look at the cutoff man just watched him round third. He wasn't even third. He wasn't. He was at third by the time the cutoff man had it. That was pretty stupid. Um, I'm not going to complain because it got us a run. But that needs to be something you fix in your algorithms. The cutoff man shouldn't just stand it and like stare at the ball in his hands. Like, this is a baseball. I'm saying that even though it worked out for me, that was pretty dumb. I don't know if we're really just simulating the fact he's got a weak arm, which is totally feasible. But even if so, that's pretty silly looking. All right, Lindor, we need this to go to the outfield. You did your job, mate. Now that leaves the park, I would do a happy dance. But we scored. That was a very good hit by, uh, by, uh, by our good friend Lindor. And Scene, once again, fights it off his hands. He's had a real hard time getting extended this time. Alright, Kluber. You got a tough job. But if you can make it... Oh, Almora's running very, very fast. That's... Nope, it's not a triple. It could have been, though. Come on, Kluber. There we go. Strike out Conforto. Teach that guy. Ooh. Nice a nice alert play by the catcher. Alright, Kluber. Can you give me six quality innings? Uh, I don't like that one. I don't like that one at all. It's gone. God damn it. Oh, you got him out of the inning, but still, you... Kluber, this was a bad game. This was bad. Alright. So we need to warm up... So I love this warm-up screen. This is so useful. Oh, you can go to substitutions here. Cool. Um, so who do we got coming up for the bad guys? We've got two righties and a switch hitter. It could be Heller... Yeah, let's go ahead and warm up Heller. And just in case they get fancy. No, because I can't pitch Reeve today. Which is maybe for the best. And a harmless swing from Calhoun. Come on, Fish. We need to start putting in some runs. Yeah, my the middle heart of my order is very left-handed. And I'm too lazy to put in pinch hitters, so they're just kind of dominated us in this inning. We won't listen to the seventh inning stretch. Okay, Heller is ready. All right, Ben Heller. Get her done. He's got really good stuff, so I hope to see some strikeouts here. Just like that one. Okay, that was entirely on scope. So here's what I'm guessing. I'm guessing the red is swing and miss. Green is took the pitch. And maybe yellow is fouled off. I don't know. Strike three. Good work. Man, he is moving those pitches around. 85, that's probably a slider. Do you even have a slider, Heller? You do. Okay, your fastball slider. So anything under 90 will be a slider. Slider. Oh, no! What the shit, Lindor? What the shit? Alright, I need you to contain Fowler here, Heller. No, walks are bad. Can you strike out Guerrero? Okay, I that was dumb to throw to second. You should have thrown to first, but you got the job done. And so I'm not going to complain too terribly much. 
Okay. So I need a new pitcher for the eighth. Nate Jones would be a good call. So we'll warm him up. All right, Senzel, I need you to clobber Dario Alvarez. Strike three, you're out. That is not... Now, see, that was a called strike, and I assumed red meant he was swinging. That must be pitch type. But if that's the case, what's the key? Okay, does Alvarez have three pitches? He does. Okay. So it's probably red for fastball... Maybe yellow for slider and green for changeup? I have no idea. Um, that's very unhelpful. All right, do any of these do any of these stupid widgets help? You're clearly color coding his pitches, but as far as how you're color coding them, I can't tell. Oh damn! Al Moro reached out and got a good piece of that. What it didn't matter though. Now you're using blue. Now I'm totally lost. It's got to be by velocity. Strike three, you're out. And you striked out Valot. Alright, get in there, Jones. No, I meant to click on this little green plus. There we go. You got a tough job, Nate Jones. You're facing the heart of their order. Well, not quite the heart. Oh, shit. God, bloody damn it. That was an awful place to pitch. Come on, mate. And that's a little weak ground ball that just happens to squirt past the door. Oh, Nate Jones, you're killing me. You literally are freaking worthless. You just... Handed them two home runs and the game. So we are not making the playoffs this year. Unless we have some kind of crazy comeback in the ninth. Strike three. Oh yeah, you strike them out now. That's freaking helpful. Yeah, Nate Jones was absolutely worthless. I should have brought in Doolittle. That's my fault. That's my fault. All right, I need you guys to get your shit together. Ooh, you hit Moncada. That wasn't nice of you. Lean door faces Tanner Scott. He's got really good stuff, but it's also very, very wild. And that's a weak, weak, weak fly ball. All right, we're gonna start. I'm gonna tell people to take pitches because that's what needs to happen now. We need to make him walk, walk people. That's the only way that we're going to make this happen. Maybe take another pitch, too. All right, now you can swing away. Okay, you have been worthless this entire game. Not one of your pitches has even been moderately hard. Everything you hit is going off your hand. And I probably should, but I need to find a left, a righty bat off the bench for next season. I just go ahead and swing, Calhoun. And you just sit there and you get struck out. That was garbage. Nate Jones, you're garbage. You completely melted down. I also blame Kluber, though. Um, this is not a Corey Kluber-style start. We're used to getting a lot better production out of him. And because this Baltimore makes the playoffs and we don't. So that happened. That Kluber, you were brought in for this money. If you were brought in and paid $40 million a year for that specific reason. And you just blew it, mate. You just blew it. I should have brought in Severino. Lesson learned. That was very disappointing. Oh, Baltimore gets bounced out. Yeah, see, look, they got bounced out in the first round. We totally would have won that game. Probably not, actually. If I'm honest with you. Well, we're going to get a new World Series champion. Because I think last year. No, last year was um, Texas, wasn't it? Oh, and the A's. Yeah. it was. I don't remember who won the World Series last year. It's got the A's and the White Sox. 
The A's are dominating the White Sox. This is between the Cardinals and the Diamondbacks. Get an A's Diamondbacks World Series. Okay. Get our game saved. I really like the presentation of that. That was really cool to watch. I just hope they fix some of those problems. Hope freaking Kluber learns how to start striking people out. That's his bloody job. And he struck out like nobody. And Nate Jones. That was my fault. I should have brought in Doolittle made him pitch two innings. But he was so good all year long. I thought Jones deserved a chance. Got an average score. Most importantly, did I get a contract extension? Um, so Strasburg did not get his vesting option. Trevor Rosenthal. I'm going to avoid it. Um, we did better. You wanted Nate Jones. Oh God. He wants an extension for Trevor Rosenthal, and I just voided his contract. Well, we can see what he wants. He gave me another year. Oh, uh, you got to be kidding me. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at salary arbitration. And I'm going to have to offer Rosenthal an extension, which was not my, my intention. Um, I'm going to withdraw Skaggs' contract. I'm going to let him walk. And I'm going to let Marrero walk. And we're going to lose Jones, too, actually. Okay. Can I get an extension in for Strasburg? Strasburg wants a lot of money. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of money to spend, so I think Strasburg's going to have to take a walk. I'll make Rosenthal qualifying offer. This is really stupid, but it'll count as an extension, and it'll make the owner happy. And I gotta make the owner happy, or I'll lose my job. Um, unless we win the World Series. <clears throat> now, let me make this very clear. Trevor Rosenthal would be the dumbest human being in human history to, to, to reject this qualifying offer. He'd be absolutely moronic. A trade proposal. I will make a trade for the right reasons. You'd give me a bad third baseman and an interesting catcher for John Gray. No, Gray's too important to me. Especially if we're losing Strasburg. Um, let me drop Gray. Is there anyone else you would take? Not really. No one I'm willing to give up anyway. I could like trade Doolittle maybe. You know, getting a really good catching prospect in exchange for Doolittle would be a pretty good get. But I think we'll pass. It's interesting though. Oh, I meant to um, offer El, El Mora a one-year deal. Yeah, because I don't want to go to arbitration. I would take a chance of the arbitrator. It's like, he gets $5 million. But like, no. Like, you suck, mate. Uh, Jared Miller was the top reliever in the American League. I can't really fault that. Um, I'd give you actually a two-year deal. All right, then you're getting your arbitration estimate. I'm going to give you 820k. There we go. That was bad. Kluber was actually the more valuable, the most valuable pitcher in the league and might win another Cy Young, but it doesn't friggin' matter. Oh, I got rookie of the year and Cy Young, and it was Severino you gave the Cy Young to. Silver Slugger, Lindor, got it at shortstop. Couldn't beat Conforto in left field. Uh, Seam was rookie of the year. Reese McGuire did get a handful of first place votes. 
Um, Bob Melvin. Uh, Kluber finished second. Oh, John Gray got some down ballot votes. I'm cool with that. Now, the question is, does Lindor get MVP, which he totally deserves? Yes. Didn't get all the first place votes, but got most of them. And then some votes for Severino and Kluber. And three votes for Seen. But yeah, this was Lindor's year. He was pretty awesome. He did about as well as I could have expected. Okay, the question is, is Rosenthal going to take my contract offer and dick me out of buying any free agents this year? Or is he going to reject me and go into free agency? Rosenthal hasn't decided yet, has he? Which he actually should have. He should decide one way or the other, because I made him a qualifying offer. It's up to him if he wants to take it or not. He'd be stupid not to. Yep. He'd be stupid not to. Does that count as does that count as making him happy? Where's all my Oh, that's my manager home screen. He still wants an extension for him. Okay. Well, it's probably not going to happen now. Because if, if you're going to make a choose between Trevor Rosenthal and Francisco Lindor, he can take a long walk off a of short pier. All right. We got some free agents this year, including Strasburg. The problem is I don't think I have any money to play with in free agency. Um, I don't want the tasks here. I have no money for free agents and no money for extensions. So that's a thing. <clears throat> if you're literally not going to give me any money, I'm just going to have to hope that we find some decent players. Yeah, Trevor Rosenthal would have been the world's dumbest human being if he had rejected that offer. And nothing I've seen indicates that he's stupid. Right, is there any salary we can try to get rid of? Oh, God. <clears throat> We're going to have very hard decisions to make next year. All right, we're going to go into... We're just going to stretch Hall of Fame, because I'm not going to make any free agent offers. I don't have any money. I want to keep Louis, I want to keep Lean Dorian Severino. That, I know, is a goal for me. He's only got one year of arbitration left, which might mean that we're at the point where Lean Dor's willing to talk. Big deal. And here comes Hall of Fame voting. So who's eligible this year? Bobby Array Abreu was pretty underrated, but right field is super stacked in the Hall of Fame. If he got in, I wouldn't be upset, but I can't vote for him. Beckett, no. Berkman, no. Eric Chavez, definitely no. Uh, obviously, Roger Clemens. Adam Dunn was a super cool, weird kind of player, but super cool and weird doesn't really get you in. No to Giambi. I want to say no to Jeter, but I think Jeter's well above the standards for shortstop. Not by blacking, because he hardly ever led the league in anything. But, yeah, Jeter, definitely. I'm going to put in another vote for Andrew Jones and Jeff Kent. Not Conurco. Cliff Lee's extremely borderline, but no. Derek Lowe, no. Roy Oswald, no. Andy Pettit, yes. Juan Pierre, definitely no. Definitely yes for Manny Ramirez. Brian Roberts, no. Scott Rowland, yes. Uh, Kurt Schilling, yes. Gary Sheffield, yes. I remember Alfonso Soriano. Not Hall of Fame worthy. I won't vote for Sammy, but if he got in, I wouldn't be super upset. Uh, Miguel Tejada, no. Omar... 
I'll throw in a vote for him. I got plenty of them left on my ballot. Billy Wagner and Larry Walker. I'll vote both these guys in. Okay. Submit the ballot. If we're going to get better, it's going to have to be through trade. Or through luck in the Rule 5 draft. And the real problem is... I don't know... We could trade prospects for veterans. But we need to shed payroll. Which means we almost have to make like a mega deal involving Severino. Which I really don't want to do. Because Severino is super expensive. It's amazing how quickly these things fly through when there's nothing for you to do. I think a righty bat off the bench has to be something I find either in my minor leagues or in the Rule 5 draft. Because that's a major weakness that we had problems with. Oh, I did not go through and figure out if any of my people are on this list. Anybody important? No, I'm pretty... Um, I just saw Columbus guy. Nah, no one's going to take these guys. Okay. There's not much to be had here. If I'm honest with you. There just isn't. Jacob Lindgren is at least interesting. So is Kittredge. Lindgren's got really good stuff. He just has crap control. Mm. Is my right-handed bat off the bench here? You're a lefty. You're a lefty. Kevin Cron might be a righty. He is. But I can probably find someone Kron's quality or better in my own minor league, so I will not be picking anyone. Did we lose anyone? I don't think so. It's a very boring off season, which I guess makes it more means we'll get through the actual season itself faster. Muldoos in spring training will give a few people a shot to see if they can establish themselves as... Okay, trade proposal. What do you want? Mm-mm. I like Jose Quintana. I even like Austin Wells, and I like the idea of cash. You are not getting Francisco Lindor. He's untouchable. If I drop him from the trade, what are we talking? I would need you to retain 100% of his salary. <laughs> this might be the worst offer I've ever seen in my career. Um, yeah, you wouldn't even take that. So I can't take on contracts. And Lindor is way too good to give up. I'd actually rather trade Kluber than Lindor. If I had to choose. Please don't make me choose. Choosing between your kids. Even though Kluber's actually older than I am. Lindor's younger than I am. But Kluber's actually older, I think. Actually, Kluber might be younger, too. Atlanta. Uh, whatever offer Atlanta wanted to make, they're like, wait a minute, we don't want to make that offer. Fuck you. Uh -huh. How old is Kluber? Nope, Kluber's younger than I am too. But I would have been basically an infant when he was born, so he, he cannot be my son. I can't, I mean, I would be proud for him to be my son, but he couldn't be. Lindor would be kind of dodgy too. Like, I would have been a teenager, but... Mm, maybe. I don't know how these things work. Yeah, the fans are kind of PO'd about losing Strasburg, which I totally get. But, mm, it means we got a rotation spot to fill. 
we definitely have some interesting decisions to make in spring training this year. Uh, I wish a stupid owner hadn't forced me to re-sign Trevor Rosenthal. Because I don't want him as an extent. I didn't want to keep him. But he's like, no, you have to sign into an extension. I don't want to lose my job. So we got to make the playoffs this year. We really need the team's help. <gasps> oh, this is cool. I like this. Pay two more to raise. Uh, let's start a charity. The AI is totally not going to like that, but uh, Jeter, Schilling, Clemens all made it. Poor Larry Walker. Larry Walker was actually really good. I bet the owner's not going to be super happy with me. He's like, quit giving away my money, damn it. That's a Dolan for you, though. We announced a Cleveland-based charity. Maybe it'll... I hope they do more stuff like that. That's kind of cool. Especially, like, increases fan interest or something, or fan loyalty. Financial. I have $174 million. Damn, did Garrett Cole make a lot get paid. Um... So we can actually sign a couple free agents. Do we maybe slash some of our budget here? I think the answer has to be no. Oh, I can't change ticket price yet. Okay. Hmm. I could cut my draft budget, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to reduce my draft budget. Oh, this is cool. I like having all these like prospect charts here. I have no one in the top 100. Shit. Well, we're going to have to make some decisions then. Is there anyone interesting I could offer a minor league contract to? Oh, he's got good stamina. You can have a minor league deal. You can have one. I want batters, though. Is there any batters who might take a minor... Cole Calhoun would take a minor league deal, but I think he's a lefty. I'll still offer him a deal, though. Mm, and then we're getting into the dregs. Ian Desmond is a righty and does have a little bit of pop off the bench. I'm sure I'll make you both minor league deal offers. And if you sign them, great. If you don't, that's fine too. I genuinely don't care. Alright. Uh, why do you keep saying offering me a trade proposal, which you then... I bet everyone's trying to trade for Francisco Lindor, and then they're just like, no. That's probably what's happening. That is probably what's happening. Is that their, their, their offers are all for... Uh, Desmond thinks I'm ridiculous. Everyone else is considering it. Yeah, I don't care about you that much, Desmond. This is just to shore up AAA a bit with a few veterans in case I have injuries. <laughs> it's probably Matt Bush retiring. Bush hangs up the cleats. <clears throat> We sold a lot for Strasburg and giving up Chapman. And granted, we had a third baseman ready. So it wasn't the worst thing in the world. 
But we basically got a one-year rental for a pretty good player. And Chapman's bat would have been pretty useful off the bench. Or at like first base or something maybe. I'm not first base because I got Alvarez. So that's the one thing we have in our favor. We'll get a full season of both Alvarez and um, what's his face. They're getting smarter about when to stop. Because yeah, I wouldn't want you to stop just to tell me that they signed a minor league deal. That's cool. I like that. All right. So we need to get some people on our spring training roster. We need at least one more pitcher. Kyle Gibson, you're being invited to spring training. Yarbrough, you're being invited to spring training. Sandro Fabian. He hits with the right hand. You can have an invitation to spring training. All you guys can be invited to spring training. It'll be a spring training love fest. Duke Kinnaman is the kind of player I would actually seriously consider trading. Because I've got a good second baseman and his skill set isn't that ideal. He doesn't hit well enough in my in my estimation. Yeah, it looks like his overall has spiked a few times, but then it looks like it just craters again. He's above average with speed and a good feel for the strike zone. His eye is getting worse. His power is jumping around. His contact is meh. He's got a good batting eye and plays pretty good at second base. And that's all we can say about him. So then we reach the other concern, which is do we consider trading him? And if so, what do we want? I would like some pitching prospects. I'll probably get a decent number of offers here. I'm mostly for... Okay, a lot of people actually think he's garbage. Well, I guess that's fair. He kind of is garbage. I could get a shortstop who is basically what he would look like when he is old enough. Um, okay. What can I get for Jason Martin? Because, so, he's a left-handed hitting outfielder, which I've got tons of. Can I get anything interesting for him? I can get a pretty good third baseman who'll never hit. Oh, he's actually a pretty decent utility guy. Yeah, all right. Sometimes the marginal moves are the most useful. Oh yeah, let's look at our strengths and stuff. We're very deep at the major league level, but we're a little lacking in certain prospects. Anyone else we want to reward with a Jake Alsup? I want to wait until you develop more abilities. You'd be a wonderful bench bat for a couple of seasons as you wait for a spot to clear up. Willie Calhoun and Scene present challenges because they both have almost identical skill sets. And Scene can't handle the outfield. About the only position I'd maybe put him at his first base. But then Alvarez can't play. Oh, Alvarez is okay in left field, maybe. Not really. We've got three hitters for two spots. That'll need some thinking about. All right. As usual, I will have the AI set up all the pitching. Um, and I do want a six-man rotation to get extra people some reps. Um, John Gray had another outstanding season. I think this... Did he pitch over 200 innings? Almost. So I'm going to take the gloves off. 
you no longer get a pitch count. And then I will have the AI set up all this stuff. All right, so we'll, we'll now sim to next month. So um, a bit of a pro tip, if you didn't already know this, the league year starts on opening day, so if you don't want to have to put people on the 40-man roster or have them get a day of service time, stop your sim the day before opening day, or even a couple of days before. But you don't want people on your roster because then they'll get major league service time, um, which starts things like the arbitration clock early. So it's a useful thing to have if you're not playing a giant market team. We'll see if we get any kind of injuries over the offseason, too. I hope not. Priority number one, I think, as soon as the season starts, is trying to get Lindor to sign a contract. Okay. That's kind of a shame for you, Rickham Strict. I'm actually going to put him on the 60-day DL. Because I kind of... Uh, no, I'll put him on the 15. Or 10, rather. Sorry. Because I, I don't want to lose him... Um, I don't want to lose the possibility of having him down the road as a really good utility player. A Jose Ramirez type. We might have overspent on Kluber. <clears throat> we wanted an elite starter and we got one. But if, if getting Kluber cost me Severino, it wasn't worth it. So we might need to find other places to scrimp and save. Fisher is having a pretty good spring, it looks like. So is Alvarez. So is Voigt. Uh, Luke, Luke Voigt is having a decent spring training. Yeah, we're actually hitting really, really well in spring training. Which is always good to hear. Oh, Crystal ended up with Minnesota. Okay. That's interesting. All right, so this should be where it stops, and then we'll make our spring training decisions now. Who to take off the roster, who to keep. Okay, we need a personal message, which probably is a player development update. So it is. Uh, Shree's movement got a little better. That's nice. Um, his stuff got better. Good. Johan Mojica's power got a little better, which is nice to see. His eye got better. Um, his raw potential improved. His dropped, but his power got better. So nice potential drops because they're actually making um, good efforts. Uh, Tostado got quite a bit better. It always says potential rating improves to 80. I think that's a bug because it clearly says it's it's 40. But hey, it's cool you like him so much. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead, delete all the messages, and let's make our spring training decisions. So we've got 38 people. We need to trim down to 25. I don't want Chase Anderson. Will literally anybody give me anything for Chase Anderson? I want him gone. I can get Matt Joyce. You know what? I, I dislike him so much, I'll take it. Have Chase Anderson. He's kind of a jerk anyway. And he just goes straight to AAA, so that's totally fine with me. Okay. Let's start getting other people off the roster. Um, Richardson, you're going back to the minors. Yarbrough's to the minors. Pobsey's to the minors. Will Harris is now garbage. Utter garbage. 
Will anyone take you? I bet no one will take him. Yeah, that would be fairly obvious. I'm just going to cut Will Harris. Yeah, it'll add player expenses, but he's so bad that... You can go back to the minors... How are you as a starting pitcher? I'm going to let you make the roster this year, Kovar. Which give me one, two, three, four, five, six starters. Um, Gibson, you can go down to the minors. Other people, um, Eric Peterson, you can go to the minors. Sixto Sanchez. I would be willing to actually let you stay on the roster if I don't need to move other people. Uh, Gibo down. How many pitchers do I have? I have 11, which is how many I wanted. Good. Wow, do we have a lot of outfielders. Okay, Calhoun is obvious. You going down. Kristen Robinson's going down. Oh shit, you're out of options already? I can't put you on waivers. I'll never see you again. Well, guess who just made the Major League Club at the age of 19? Because I wasn't paying enough freaking attention. Oh dear. Yeah, he has no option years left. I don't know how. How did you run out of option years? You haven't even been in the bloody majors for three years, have you? A uh, contract. He should not be out of option years. Something weird happened. And I can't I can't fix it either. So yeah, he gets to make the team because I literally can't have anyone else. Goodman goes down to the minors. Fabian goes down to the minors. Need to get her one more outfielder. I honestly think it's Almora. I really think it's either so. It's either Almora or Voit. No, I don't want to carry six outfielders. That would be stupid. I'm going to send you down to triple A. And now we're at 25. How long is Kovar out? Just a couple of days. Okay. So let's start the pitching staff. Clear all the things, please. Five-man rotation, obviously. I'm going to make Severino the ace. I said I'm going to make Severino the ace. Uh, and you will start with Severino as long as he's ready. Kluber is number two. Um, please give me pitching ratings. Thank you kindly. Gray will be number three. Gray will be number three. There we go. Now we have our real question, which is who fills out the back end of my rotation? I only have five starters here. What happened to the sixth? I guess Kovar is going to be my fifth starter. I could have sworn that I kept two starters. Maybe I didn't. All right. He did have a good spring, so that's, that's good to know. All right. Sean Doolittle is my closer and my eighth plus inning guy. Um, pitcher stats. We're going to look at last year to help us determine who to put in the bullpen. Split last year. Here we go. I think we'll make Heller the setup guy in the seventh. Um, Shreve will be the specialist. These are all the obvious choices. Um, Sanchez for now is going to be long relief and emergency starting pitcher. Sear will be middle relief. 
Rosenthal will be middle relief, but I'll put him on the use more often train. I'd also like you to avoid high leverage with Sixto Sanchez, because I just want him to get reps in the majors right now. He didn't pitch great last year in Triple A, but or in in Double A, but he didn't do badly either. And I do want to give a couple of rookies a shot to see what they can do this year. All right. Clear all lineups. Clear all depth charts. Let's set the lineups overview. Let's do this part first. All right, let's sort by I. This is the year we make Moncada the, the leadoff hitter, I think. Because I want Lindor batting third. And he will be leading off in all four lineups. Okay. A good number two hitter. I want someone with high contact who's not Francisco Lindor. Senzel. I think he'd be a very solid choice for our number two hitter. He's got a decent amount of speed too. Not great, but a decent amount. All right. Lindor, number three. Obvious choice. Equally obvious choice. Scene hits cleanup. <clears throat> and all four lineups. He's another one that cost me quite a bit, but he's already earned part of the money. So now the real question becomes, who bats fifth, Fisher or Calhoun? I think it's Fisher. No, Calhoun's got such better contact. Yeah, it's got to be Calhoun. Uh, you'll be the DH. Oh, right. Um, against righties, you can't be a thing, can you? You're DH only. Um, Fisher will bat fifth here, and then he'll bat fifth in all these situations. Or sixth, rather. Alvarez is a lefty. Does he have a platoon split? He does. So I think maybe we'll do what we did last year and have Voight play against right-handed hitters. Or left-handed pitchers, rather, excuse me. And then we'll let Alvarez play against righties. Okay. Then Vallet, or Vio, whatever people tell me is actually the right pronunciation. And then we got a center field decision to make. The rookies got better contact than Gettys. Good gap power, worse power. Who's the better center fielder? 75, 65, 60. 70, 65, 80. You're both right handed. Do either of you have like drastic platoon splits? Not really. All right, it's going to be Gettys to start the year at center field. All right, so now these are all set. Now let's go to the depth chart and fill in the rest. Let's sort by position. Um, no, you know what? We're going to do it this way, 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and I'm going to click generate. And then we're going to see what pe how they decide we should play this. Is Vilma really better at second? Holy shit, he is better. By quite a bit, too. Damn. Okay. I can live with this depth chart. I don't think Voight should be... No, I definitely want Calhoun playing if he's rested. Robinson can back up at center and right. Davidson will be the next backup. Is he a right-handed hitter? He's a lefty. Okay, so Voight's still my bat off the bench. Okay. And then let's have you generate this. Uh, yeah, I don't mind him filling a little bit at first or left. And I do like the idea of trying to get Robinson reps in center to see what kind of a future he's got. This is all fine. This saves so much more time. And then I can just tweak things. Yeah, I... No. Not if Calhoun is my option. Oh, but wait, you're a lefty too, aren't you? Yeah, I actually will let you go ahead and get some reps there too. Um, no. Alvarez is never playing left field. I want to make that extremely clear to you. He is never to play left field. He's only ever playing first or DH. Yeah, never. I'd rather get Davidson a chance. Yeah, you want to back him up at first, great. But I'm not letting Alvarez ever play the outfield. I don't think he can handle it. Okay, so that sets up our team. Which means we just need to sim one day up to opening day to lock in the roster and possibly the freshness. Oh, does anyone need to go on the 40-man? Speaking of 40-man, is there anyone here that needs to be removed? You might actually be a decent reliever, so I'm not going to take you off. Mojica is useful. Vielma is useful. Davidson is useful, so yeah. Um, So let's sim up to opening day, and then we're going to have a talk with one Lindor... Francisco or Francisco Lindor as the kids generally call him our minor league system is going to be trash now most likely you want me to make the playoffs so do I uh, yeah I don't have anyone in the top 10 anymore um, am I dead last no I've got interesting players at least that's something I'm 25th how do the Orioles have such a good team and also have such good prospects? That's what I find so frustrating. Is look at this ridiculous lineup they've got. Oh, the game actually handles two-way players now. That's pretty cool. You kind of had to with Shohei Itani, but still. How did he do last year hitting-wise? Batting stats. He didn't actually play that often. Oh, that's my problem. Derp, derp, derp. He got 22 homers. That's pretty good. Um, right. That's such bullshit, but whatever. I would like you to sign a long-term deal. I will give you almost any money you ask for. Can I get two team options? Just in case. In 2029, what year is it? You will be 35. I'll give you 15 million and 10 million. 
would you take this deal? You would. He's my franchise cornerstone. I can't let him get away. Submit offer. He's making so much money. Oh, God. That may mean we can't sign Severino. And if that's the case, I'd be really sad. Same thing for Gray. Can I get Gray to sign an extension? If I can only choose two people, I'd rather the other person be Severino. Severino wants a pretty reasonable contract, actually. I want two team options, as I got with Lindor, and yours will be worth quite as much. <clears throat> there we go. We are busting open the checkbook for two players, and they're my two franchise linchpins, so I'm totally fine with this. And then the money for extensions will vanish. It's fine. I don't want to buy John Gray. I don't know how we're going to be able to afford him, too. The fans had better lose their shit because I got both these guys to sign big contracts. Oh, they're merely happy about Severino. They're not ecstatic. Mm. I have a tiny bit of money for extensions. I got a bunch of people coming up in arbitration. Oh, and guess what's killing my play role, payroll flexibility? Can I get a discount on you? He wants to get paid too. He's even giving me team options. He'll probably opt out, would be my guess. Let's do it. I like that they're actually being reasonable about this, by the way. They're trying to work with me here. Um, I would like... Uh, Fisher and Moncada probably won't take long-term deals right now. Voight might. We'll wait on the rest of these. Still want an extension for Rosenthal. I'm not doing it. You know what, owner? I'm building you a franchise by signing the young players to long contracts. I am not giving that offer to Rosenthal. I'm not signing a player of his caliber for like a 20 million a year deal. He's not that good. Um, please go to AAA. Oh, you'd have to clear option years. Fuck. No, I don't want him in irrevocable waivers. Fuck. What can I trade you for? You're a cool player. I like you a lot. You've got good contact, and you're pretty good defensively, but I can't afford to get nothing for you if I waive you. This way I might be able to get like an interesting prospect or a valuable piece to the puzzle. You're very good defensively, and you're a pretty decent bat too. You're a definite possibility. Gavin Sheets, good all-around hitter. Always handy to have those. Um, you play really great second base and shortstop, but I kind of don't need anyone other for those positions. If you are a right-handed hitter, I would take Sheets. 
Are you right-handed? No, you're left-handed too. As an outfielder off the bench, I could do a whole lot worse. But sheets I could maybe develop a bit and then maybe flip myself. So I think we'll actually go ahead and trade for sheets. And you want me to try to get a little bit more out of them. I'll try. How about Brett Martin? Nah, I don't want someone who's on the 40, man. Um, how about Chris Sharp? He'll think about it. I will take that. <clears throat> he could end up being a really good player down the road. I just don't have a spot for him right now. I'm just going to put you on a rehab assignment for now just to buy myself some time. Personal message. The fans are pretty happy about John Gray's extension. No, I'll just make the trade for Sheets then. I'm not that bothered by it. Um, we have could do better at center field and relief pitcher, but the rest of our team is pretty darn good. Team chemistry. We need a captain. Um, Todd Worrell gets along good with some players, especially Lindor. Not so well with others. A uh, personnel. Our hitting coach has been doing a crazy good job, so I'm going to go ahead and give him an extension for five years. Everyone else is kind of meh. And every minor leaguer can have an extension. Okay, let's continue. Ooh, Gettys. Well, number one, we put you on the DL. Number two, I call up Almora. And then I've got a then I've got a problem. Do we give Robinson a shot or do we let Almora have it? Robinson actually has power, whereas Almora doesn't. I'm going to give Robinson a shot. I'm going to give him center field. And Almora can back him up. I did not want to force a 19-year-old into this situation, but maybe we'll make the best of it. Um, I'm just going to go and put Davidson for right and Almora for center. Almora, Davidson, Almora, Davidson. I kind of feel bad for Gettys because this is going to be his year. But quit trying to make David Alvarez play the outfield. Um, everything else here is fine. Kid, I did not plan to throw you to the wolves like this, but I have no other center fielders. You've played zero days above A ball. This is going to go terribly. Unless it doesn't doesn't I would be pretty excited don't rub it in my face Boston I know I had Steven Strasburg and couldn't resign and now we're falling back to 500 again 
But the sample size is really tiny, so we can't say for sure um, whether people are just taking a while to get heated up or what have you. Personal message. <clears throat> and I just lost Doolittle for 11 games. I don't need a closer. That's fine. Why do we start off so slow every freaking season? It's very frustrating. I should actually be checking out the independent league because I might be able to just buy certain players for a certain amount of cash. I might actually do that here in just a second. Be a good place to find relievers, actually. Bryce Harper. Jose Ramirez and Taylor Trammell. <sighs> like, I could buy Austin Adams, but it's not worth it. He's not that good. There's a couple of interesting players here. Not paying two hundred fifty grand for it though. F that. No. If I'm spending two hundred fifty grand, I better get something that's like a maze balls. Not a really not no. I apologize for saying amaze balls. I'll try not to say it ever again. Okay, now we've got something interesting, maybe. He'll have a decent hits, a uh, decent bat, and play decent outfield. Oh, we think he's got a lot better discipline. Is it worth 250 grand to find out? I'd say it might be. At least we got one interesting player. And back to MLB. Okay. I didn't actually want to play the game Detroit shit. I actually just literally wanted to simulate the game. I just clicked the wrong button. Here we go. Two next month, please. Oh, um, I won't look at any team stats right now. We got 20-some games. We could at least learn something. Let's go to the manager screen. Let's go to the videotape. So we're not scoring runs, and our pitching's not great either. We just suck at baseball. That's what I'm getting from that. Who are our biggest culprits? It always comes up with exactly the wrong screen. Um, this season, please. Thank you. Calhoun. Vallett and Robinson, of whom only I only accept it from Robinson because he's never played in the majors before. How long are you hurt? Please don't be hurt for long. Only six days, okay. Everyone else is doing pretty well. Are you at least playing center field well? You're playing center field pretty damn well. So I will take a, a subpar bat if we can get quality there. Pitching. Shreve is got Severino and Gray both look like shit this season. That can't keep happening. Yeah, his walk rate has spiked. His strikeout rate has fallen. They'll figure things out. Sanchez, I'm not too bothered about. It's Shreve that bothers me. And he bothers me a lot. 
Because you are here for one reason, which is to handle left-handed pitching. And you're getting destroyed. You give up way too many home runs. Because all you are is strikeouts. You have no movement and no control. I think it's time for us to move on from Shreve. If you're a left hand, if you're a lefty specialist and you can't get lefties out, that's a very serious problem. I would like to trade you. Let's see what kind of options I can get. Can I get someone who's actually competent? Probably not, but I'll definitely get at least something interesting. And something interesting is more than I've got from freaking Shreve right now. I'm getting a lot of offers for him. A lot of people really like him. Um, I don't really need another third baseman. Um, Alec Mills is actually pretty decent. I don't really need a starter, though. Uh, catching depth is always handy. Pablo Lopez is a righty, or I would totally think about taking him. I don't need a third baseman, though. Kevin Collard is a decent power bat who has little else to offer. You can at least play the outfield, and you're you're a little bit better as a hitter. Actually, Blankenhorn might be my choice. Oh, but Ernie Mahan. Eh. It's going to take him a while to develop his hit tool, though. But I've got time, and I've got space for him. I think I will trade for you, actually. I could trade for Bradley Zimmer. No, I like Mahan because he's a right-handed bat. So I will go ahead and... They want a little bit more for giving up Shreve. Would you throw in Jonathan Chil Childress? No. See, this is what I don't like. He's losing his crap about his trading Sharif when all he is is a left-handed reliever that doesn't get lefties out. I will happily take an at least an interesting outfielder. And then I need to find a new reliever. Uh, you're a righty. You're a righty. 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 Lefty. If I made you into a reliever, how much better does your stuff get? It actually gets a tiny bit worse. So that's great. Um, are you a lefty, Gibo? No, you're a righty too. Everyone's a freaking righty these days. Yeah, there's... Free agency, maybe? You're getting to the point where I have to make a decision about you. Sears a righty. Sanchez is a righty, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, check the waiver wire first. If I can get a player on the waiver wire... I'm not looking for much. I'm looking for a left-handed pitcher. Anthony Banda. <sighs> you are left-handed. No one can disagree with that. Well, I don't think you could handle a, a, a relief role. Let's check free agency.
Hello. Yes. Come to the Indians. Oh, good lord, do you want a lot of money? I actually don't have that much money. Yeah, I can't afford that. Paredes is a righty. You're a righty. You're a good pitcher. I just can't afford you. You're a really good pitcher, though. You know what? I'm gonna trade Trevor. I'm gonna I'm gonna trade Trevor Rosenthal. I need him off my. Eh. Rosenthal's actually been good this year. Sign a free agent. I'd offer you a million. You'll. I'll offer you a million less and see if you take that. Um. While I've made that offer, I'd also like to check the trading block. No one's got anything yet. I guess that's fair. In the meantime... Oh, Ryan Yarbrough is a lefty. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make you my specialist right now. Hopefully just having a confident, competent guy to get out lefties will help. This has been a challenging... I don't know what other noise I can make that adequately expresses the depth of my disappointment. This is why I offered so many minor league deals. Shit. Yep, you're going to get a chance to fill the back end of the rotation. Yeah, Sanchez is so much... Uh, yeah, I will actually go ahead and put you in the rotation. Uh, you will get a pitch count, though. Um, you'll get a pitch count of 100. And then you'll be long relief and emergency starting pitching. So this has gone brilliantly has this season. Severino and Gray have been considerably worse than they were last year. And Corey Kluber just blew out his arm. Actually, meniscus might be in the leg. No, I think it's in the arm. Damn it. Oh, you need to be placed on the 40 man and then go to triple A. A personal message. Oh, I got you. Cool. That actually changes things in a good way. Sorry, Yarbro. He's like, yes, I finally made the roster again. I'm like, no. I don't want to be in there anymore. All right, you're much more than a lefty specialist, though. I definitely want you to play... Pitch a lot of middle relief, too. Maybe I should make you a middle reliever. Do you have an extreme split? No, you're exactly the same. So you're going to be a middle reliever first. That just so happens to also be a lefty specialist. <clears throat> You might be my closer next year. What are you having? Why is everyone giving up so many more walks? Do I need to fire my bloody pitching coach? Like, it's happening for everybody.
you like power pitchers. I might very well fire you at some point. I won't do it yet, but this is it's it's very disturbing that every single player is walking more people. And relief pitching is so much more important now that we don't have Kluber. Our bullpen's going to have to bail out these rotation guys. Lindor's doing quite well. Uh, Geddes is eligible to come back. How's Robinson been? Robinson's been terrible as a starting everyday center fielder. How the crap are you out of options already? You've been so bad with the bat that it's... Yeah, I need Geddes back. Can I put you on a ro on? Can I put you on the other kind of waiver? No. And if I waive you, someone's gonna claim you. You could be so good, but you're nowhere near that now. And you're really struggling in the majors. Okay, how is Alvarez against righties at this point? He's actually just about the same. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send down Voight. We're actually going to carry extra, an extra outfielder. Alright, lineups. Seven-day lineups. Robinson's out. Or not seven-day lineups, sorry. Alvarez is going to start every day now. At first. Because he's so good, he deserves to. And Robinson, you need a lot of time, a lot of seasoning, clearly, before you'll be ready. And the thing is, I have to keep you in the majors because you're out of options, because the game hates me. So you shouldn't use an option year. I wonder if maybe the first... You shouldn't use an option year. Someone's on the spring training roster and you send them back down. Unless you do. I've actually got to consider... Okay, so who's someone who's on the spring training roster that got sent back down? Are you out of options, Gibo? You have one year left. But it says you've used your option. Yep, you know what? I screwed up. If they ever touch the Major League roster, which includes spring training, apparently the game's considering that an option year. Which I don't think is accurate. But if it is accurate... If it's not accurate... OOTP's been like that for years, and I really should have known better. So I will take the blame for that. Um, go ahead and generate some death charts for me, please. Yeah, I'm cool with this. Generate. Yeah, Alvarez is too good to be riding the pine, and Voight doesn't add enough of value otherwise. Okay. And I wish I had my phone with me. I would double check to see if that's a thing. I don't think it is a thing. I genuinely don't think you get charged an option year if you were in the minor leagues and you're only called up for spring training. But I think the game thinks that. What I'll do is I'll look it up after this episode and that'll be one of the first things I talk about next episode. Because that seems wrong to me. But I, fu I fully admit I might very well be wrong. Yeah, Severino and Gray really need to work their shit out. That's a big reason why we're having problems.
And if their walk rates remain this high, I will fire Carl Willis in the offseason. If I have anything to fire, which I might not. Kluber got worse. Doolittle got worse. Doy got slightly better somehow. Moncada got a little worse. Senzel got better. Getty's got better at center. Fisher got better. Davidson got worse. Which isn't great. Sheets got a lot better. Hamrock got a little better. Danny Gomez got better. He does not have 75 potential. Quit talking shit. Crouch got better. Crouch is becoming a very intriguing catching prospect. If he's got a potential eye that's that good. And then a bit of garbage for the rest of it. Let's take a quick peek at how the team is doing now that another month has passed. Calhoun is a serious problem right now. Gettys hasn't played that much. Valet has. We're also getting we're also doing real bad hitting wise. Calhoun, this can't keep happening. You're a DH. I cannot have you hitting 190 freaking six. And yeah, your BABIP is ridiculously low, but this is very problematic. Are you out of options, Calhoun? You are not. Is there any interesting hitters who might deserve a shot? <laughs> As a DH. Sheets is a really good all-around hitter. Rosario needs a lot of improvement. So does Devereaux. So does Sanchez. I might send down Calhoun and call up Sheets. I need him to find his batting stroke again. And I'd rather him do that here. I'll do that. No, I want your lineups in overview. Sheets is going to be the DH here. Is there a right-handed bat who's not getting enough at-bats? Who's actually doing pretty good? Not really. Does Sheets have an extreme split? He does a little bit. I think I can have him DH, though. Are you better or worse than Alvarez at first? You're the same, basically. Okay. I'm going to bump up Fisher, bump up Alvarez. And then here, I'm going to slide you in as a pinch hitter. All right, let's keep going. I hope you're disappointed in yourself, Calhoun, because you're dragging this team down with how bad you've been. Um. Oh shit, Kovar should be on a pitching on a pitch count. Is he not on a pitch count? Shit. Yeah, you definitely go to pitch count. That's my bad. When I've lost Pov, C2. All right, Severino and Gray are at least balancing their abilities back out. All right, Heller's getting clobbered in the setup. What's wrong with you this year? Your walks drop, but so did your strikeouts. You're actually on pace to be about the same as you were last year, Heller. But I think it is time to give you a less important role. Maybe put Rosenthal back into setup. And I'm going to put you on the use more often list. Now, do I get you for... Yeah, you auto-renew, so I get to keep you no matter what. Unless I non-tender you. Let's him up to the draft. 
we could use a couple of good draft picks actually that would be a very good thing for us to have so we can try to restock our farm system the thing is i don't think we're going to get one i think we're going to be yep we're dead center which means we might get an interesting prospect but it won't be like the best okay i would like to see default i would like all players and okay so we've got Jacob Stirk, who actually could be a starter if he ever got a third pitch. Fuller is just chasing Shreve, but he's right-handed. Bradfield's got good discipline, decent contact, decent ability to not strike out. And pretty good defense. So he's a possibility. What about Schindler here? Schindler's a better overall hitter. I don't think he'll stick at shortstop. And I guess we can look at Chicas here. Chicas is a really good all-around hitter. I think I'll actually... Eh. I will take Chicas. <clears throat> He's got really good contact, really good power potential, and he hardly ever strikes out. Even the fact he doesn't walk very much won't hurt him as much. And he's from Ohio. I have no idea where Forestville is, though. So, Lucas, you're going to be my pick. Oh, you went to school in Cincinnati. Okay. I'm going to give you the... Mm, I'm just going to draft you, see if I can take you cheap. If you're still around with the sec with my second pick, I'll take you. And he's not. And I can't really say I'm that surprised. Mm, you'd be an interesting pitcher. Drew Bowser. Nope, you are garbage. You're better than garbage. But you also would probably cost me lots of money that I don't have. I want left-handed pitching. Uh, Mitchell Stone is impossible. All right, let's let's use the filter. Throws left. Here, Meredith. Ah, oh, you're not a pitcher though. And then give me only pitchers. His stuff isn't great. He's a good all-around pitcher. But he throws really slowly. I see. That's probably why their stuff isn't so good. And then let's sort by pitching potential and sort by stuff. I think Jackson Phipps is an impossible. No, he's not. Take a shot on him. You want me to take Jake Berry? Berry's not great, but yeah, sure, I'll offer him the slot. Now, let's look at batting potential. All batters, and we're going to focus on contact. You could be a really good hitter someday. I wonder why you're not rated more highly. I will happily take you. Oh. You want a big bonus. What about Chase Davis? He'll take the slot. Good. Then I'll take Chase Davis. You're probably impossible. No? Okay. All 
All right, let's clear the filter. Um, sure, I'll take anyone with that kind of hit tool. We only got really good stuff left. Eric Polo, sure. Draft. And I think that'll complete, conclude the draft for us. This wasn't the greatest draft I've ever had, but we definitely added a lot of interesting pieces. We can always package a few prospects to get a really outstanding player if we need one. <clears throat> I took a risk on you, and it's paying off. I am not making you any kind of offer. It's just not happening. You want to play for free? Fine. But I'm not spending money on... Eh. It's a pretty good hitter. But I have no budget room left for signing. So... That's fine. Let's sim up to the All-Star game. 8 to 9 weeks for Povis. Wonderful. A Kyle Gibson, maybe? I'm really kind of PO'd at Calhoun. He's such a good hitter. Hopefully he's like, he's not even hitting in AAA. If you can't work this out, you're going to have some problems with me, Calhoun. A player of your caliber should be dominating in AAA. I would happily trade Calhoun at this point for a rotation help because we're in a serious losing streak and we're going to keep being in a losing streak as long as we don't have a better rotation. Oh, come on! What the shit is happening this year? This is such bullshit. I had virtually no injuries. Adams is hurt. Gibson is probably out. You're putting me in this situation where I have to trade for a starting pitcher. What can I get for Calhoun before I... What can I get for Cole Calhoun before I start trying to trade Willie? I can... Um... I need someone who can eat frickin' innings and not embarrass themselves. Sure, Taylor Guerrero, welcome aboard. Is any other pitcher remotely ready to come to the majors? I don't think so. Like Arginus Bautista, maybe, but he's not very good. And we are still fighting for the plow, so I do like someone who's got a little bit more of a potential. He is a leader. The problem is, I bet if I made him a starter, stuff would drift off to nothing. 
keep coming back to you, Jacob, and you can't actually handle it. Ryan Yarbrough. I'm sick of my damn pitchers getting hurt. This needs to stop, and it needs to stop right now. I mean, this is genuinely awful, and there's nothing I can do about it, which is what makes it twice as bad. Those big students, we're not going to make the playoffs because we have no starting pitching. Because Severino and Gray both decided simultaneously they were both going to crap on this season. I'm going to fire my pitching coach. If I even get to if I if if I get fired, um, what I might do is actually might go back and play the um, historical franchises that people suggested. This is the whole fantasy thing is just a pain in the butt because not fantasy thing I shouldn't say that because like a fictional thing would be a lot of fun, um, but just all these people getting injured all at the same time. Damn. 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 Um, go ahead and purge this stuff. I bet we have one of the worst rotations in the majors now. We're still barely hanging in there. But we're still not hitting. Seriously, who the crap can't hit? Yeah, Valot's having a bad year, but I don't really have a replacement for him. Geddes is trash too, but... That's two hitters who aren't hitting fairly well. Okay, Moncada's is a serious problem. If we're only going to hit 232, I don't know that you can be my leadoff hitter. Senzel's having a good year. That's nice to know. Lindor's actually, I think, on track to have a better season than did last year, which is just crazy. Um, He led the league in doubles last year. That's kind of neat. How many home runs are you on pace to hit? Uh, 47. Okay. Yeah, Yonkot is dragging us down. We need a better second baseman. Possibly. Yeah, I have no international amateur money, I don't think. How much money do I have here? I will instantly give you five million because you look so, like such a good player. If it'll let me do it. Oh, it will let me do it. Okay, cool. Um, I don't want my job so badly that I cripple the Indians for years to come by keeping Rosenthal. He's probably pissed off at me. He's upset, but he's undecided overall. Oh, he wanted a team leader. Okay. You want more money, and that's not going to happen. He wants this gigantic extension. You won't let me give him that. So you're just going to have to accept the fact that... Can I trade Trevor Rosenthal at this point? He's pitching so well this year that his value to us might actually be in a trade. If I could get a decent starter for him, I would trade him. Martin Perez would definitely qualify as a decent starter by our standards. I could also get, you know, other people, but... David Paulino, maybe... 
Um, you're actually a starter in reliever's clothing. Jojo Romero looks pretty solid. I'm getting some decent options here. We really do need a starting pitcher. Alec Mills. Mills is my current favorite. I like the movement. I like the control. I like the stamina. Chi-Chi Gonzalez is pretty much the same. They're even the same age. Is one of you a lefty? No. Okay. Whoa, Jacob Nix. Really good. Oh, wow. I'm not going to do better than Nix. I can almost assure you. What about Duplantier here? Are you actually a starter? No. All right. Jacob Nix, I'm taking you. Now my owner's going to be really pissed at me. But we need the we need the starter. And I will turn Jacob Nix into a starter so fast his head will spin. I'm going to have you drop out of the rotation, put Nix in. You're going to be a lefty specialist who also does some middle relief. Because <laughs> I'd like to take him out of the lefty specialist role so we can focus on just pitching against whoever happens to be facing him. I could put you on the DL, actually. And maybe I should, actually, if you're out for three weeks. Yeah, you notice he's actually getting worse. Um, Gibo, you can just come up and just give me some innings every now and again. Oh, uh, you're now going to be the setup guy slash middle relief. There we go. My owner's going to hate me now. He's like, I wanted you to sign into an extension. I'm like, yeah, well, I didn't. Uh, compensation picks. Signed. I didn't even remember offering you. Oh, you signed. Cool. Yeah, I'm not going to get any picks back for that, and I'm fine with that. That's another thing, by the way. Um, If anyone from OTVT19 is watching, that doesn't have to stop the sim. Unless you actually get compensation. We're actually pretty... Di We're not bad this year. We just haven't been able to put together a sustained winning streak. We could rattle off like seven or eight wins in a row. I think we'd, we'd have a, a chance to make the playoffs this year. <clears throat> okay, Gray is slowly coming around. Mm, I would have liked that win. And that win, too. Damn it, come on, guys. I said put together sustained wins. one nothing is still a win. Um, Kyle Gibson wants to stay. How much money do you want to stay? Uh, John Gray made the all-star team, despite his somewhat low-quality ERA. Lindor and Seen made the team. It's hard to argue with either of those choices, really. Seen, if you weren't such a god-awful outfielder, I bet you'd look even better. I want fielding stats, please. And I want the less cool ones. Yeah, you're almost costing us a win in the outfield. That might be something to consider next year. Now that Calhoun is on my shit list, maybe we consider making scene my new person. You know what? I want to do something here. Ooh, we won again. I'm going to put Calhoun on the trade block, and I'm going to see what kind of offers people make. If I get a really good offer, I will totally flip him to put him on the trade block it's gonna have to be one or two people 
Yeah. Oh no. No, no, no. Okay, she has tendonitis. It's just tendonitis. It's fine. Are people going to make offers for Calhoun is my question. They might not, but they might. A personal message. Oh. Um, you know what, Heller? You're going to get some rehab time. Yeah, you're not that great, Gibson. What do you? How much money do you actually want to extend? I don't want to pay you a million dollars. You're just not worth it. If you don't come back, you don't come back. That's a good win for us over the Rangers. That's an even better one. Oh, snap. 20 hit 20 runs? No, no, no. We're going to stop. I want to look at that one. Not that one. This one. How did we get 20 runs? Oh, with only one home run from Fisher and Alvarez. A double for Sheets, two for Vallet, Moncada, Robinson. Do we just, like, single them to death? 21 hits. Damn. And Fisher had a grand slam. So there you go. Who pitched? Adams did okay. He did okay. A Gibson served kind of well in relief. And then Sear closed. Okay, actually, he did kind of crappy, but nice. No one's knocking on my door for Calhoun, which I actually find kind of surprising. Do I actually proactively try to trade him? Five hits for Matt Chap. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, Chapman's actually playing kind of well for the Mets now. Not like super ideal, but he's been productive. And I got nothing for Strasburg, so that's... Okay, he is turning it. He did turn it around quite a bit in AAA. I'm going to leave him in AAA the rest of the season, unless there's a pressing reason not to. I would like to start thinking about moving you to the majors. You're having a good year in AAA, and you're not pitting badly. We just need you to develop your tools a bit more. How is your scouting going? How's your development? She had about 270 with above average defense. Yeah, she'll notice these weird spikes where it keeps saying he goes up to 80 and then back down from 80. I don't know why that happens. That might be something they need to fix in a patch. His power's creeping up there. His eye's getting better. His contact is about the same. Uh, he's got elite level contact and batting eye. So, I would like you to play as well as you can. Why are you angry? Are you not starting? Okay, please tell me you're kidding. Why can't I click on the Clippers logo? This would be a great way to take me to my minor league team, by the way. And then I should also be in list, this list, too, I think. I can get there by clicking on manager's office. Or, um, sorry, team home screen. Clippers. Who's starting at catcher? It's Hamrock. Do you expect to be playing in the majors, maybe? Is that your complaint? You have no expectations, so I don't know why you're complaining about your role, but whatever, mate. I don't have to trade Calhoun. I don't want to get in a Sean Carlos Stan situation. I don't have to trade him, so I'm not going to. You're my catcher of the future, though. No one tells Io or Valet. Eddie Murray was just very, very good for a very, very long time. And he went to the Hall of Fame for it, which he absolutely deserved. 
A personal message. Oh, hello. Oh, more player development. Okay. Kluber's actually improving a bit on the DL, which is kind of interesting. Some improvements here. Christian Robinson. His power increased. His eyes dipping a little bit. Hamrock had got better at everything but power. Uh, Dwayne Gomez has just appeared on my prospect radar thanks to his increase in velocity. Omar, don't call me Emilio Estevez. Sandro Fabian, he's hurt, but he's still pretty decent. Has Robinson bound, bounced back at all in the majors, or is he still completely lost? Where are you, Robinson? I thought I just saw Christian Robinson. Okay, I literally thought I, I could have... Here it is. Yeah, okay. He's still absolute garbage in the lineup. I don't think there's a way I can get an option back, so he's going to kind of have to learn on the job. And I don't think he can handle it. Have you gotten any better as the year's gone on, Severino? You really haven't. You're only 26, and yet your home run rate has just shot through the roof. You were the Cy Young winner last year, and now you can't buy a fucking strikeout. That's not great. Um, I mean, no one's great, but no one's awful either. Doolittle's really been disappointing to me. His strikeout rate has vanished. Hmm. He's still on pace to be better than he was last year, though. So make of that what you will. All right, let's just continue for now. I mean, I could just make Doy the closer and then push Doolittle back. I mean, he's 18 out of however many opportunities he has. He's making three quarters of his save opportunities. I think the problem is everyone in the bullpen has to work harder because the starters haven't been great. You know what? Tyler Sear has been a revelation. He's pitched really well. Except for his... I mean, his walk rate is still kind of garbage, but he's getting it done. He's keeping the ball down. And that's what we need. Let Moncada and Lindor do all the work. I'd love to see Lindor win a batting title. Both in real life and in this game. And now Severino suspended, probably because he's a whiny little bitch. Hopefully while you're suspended, you try pitching better. I want to go on an extended, like, eight or nine game winning streak. You're eligible to come off the DL. That's wonderful. I no longer really have a place for you. I'm actually going to take you off the 40, man. Um, no. If someone claims him, they can have him. I'm going to actually just keep you in the minors. And if you become a minor league free agent, that doesn't worry me much. A victory against the Yankees. A defeat against the Yankees. A victory against... We kind of have a bit of a problem even if we make the playoffs, though. We have to hope Kluber gets back. Because we don't have a playoff rotation right now. We just don't. No! God damn it. Would you quit injuring... Alright. Why am, Why are all of my pitchers getting hurt? Are you bad at pitching arms? You're mediocre at everything. You're really pissing me off, mate. I know it's probably overwork. At least he'll be back. Uh, I need you back. Middle relief. I'm almost going to put Tyler Sear in the setup role because I literally have no one else to put in there. Uh, 
There we go. So Heller gets to come back, which is good for him, I guess. Um, he cleared waivers. Go to AAA. And I'm going to do this as well. We can't lose to the Twins especially because the Twins are right above us in the wild card. If we can beat them a few times, we can get a bit more. Oh. Yep. You know what? You're fired. Every pitcher's arm is blowing out. You're fired. I'm going to get a better trainer because this is ridiculous. Jeff Barash, get in here. That was the final straw. I'm sick of every freaking pitcher's arm blowing out this season. And I blame you. Um, so now we need, like, a generic pitcher to come up. Which one of you was a lefty? I now have no lefties in the bullpen. Okay, Nick Fanti, you get called up by default because I need a lefty. Actually, I have Doolittle. I didn't think of that, but yeah. Oh, boy. If we make the playoffs, I don't think we'll go very far in them. And I don't think we will. I don't think we deserve to. Well, we got a better free we got a better team trainer that'll help some. Uh, we need to be winning, guys. This is a bad time of year to be trading victories for losses. We need an extended winning streak so we can make up some ground. How are the White Sox so good every bloody year? They always get like that one guy who plays way better than he should be. And yeah, the White Sox are just kicking us in the teeth right now. Oh, we got a measure of revenge. Ooh. A shutout. Uh, who's Bell? Oh, Josh Bell. Oh, Josh Bell is pretty good. All right. Our ace in the hole, almost quite literally, is the fact that we have... Oh, good. He's back already. Sorry, Fanti. He's like, yes, send me the wager. He's like, no. I want to be the guy. Um, you'll be set up 7th inning and a middle relief because I want you basically if there, no, this is what you're for I found it, I found his role, you're my Andrew Miller pitch all the innings and then you can keep your roles here as just random setup guy I will pee my pants with joy if Corey, when Corey Kluber comes back. If he comes back. I mean, I guess it's always possible he might not. Damn it, Mookie Butts. You couldn't let Francisco Lindor have his freaking thing. You know, Kovar was having a really good season, so I'm not going to rush him back. In fact, I'll actually put him on a rehab assignment. Seriously, we're just out bludgeoning other teams. That's the only way we can win games consistently. Oh, there goes Tyler Sear. Did he get freaking hurt again? Okay. All right, settle down. It's okay. It's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and call up Woolard here. He can pitch some middle relief innings for us.
Yeah, Severino, you have to sort yourself out here before next season. Kluber should be coming back any day now. Yes. All right. So my worst starter is probably Kyle Gibson. I'm going to go ahead and put him on waivers and send him down. Kluber. All right. Now all the things start to happen now. So Kluber is... Are any of you lefties? No. 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 Okay. I'm going to pull... No, St. Joe's actually been doing a decent job in the rotation. I'll pull Nick's out of the rotation for now. I'm going to put Kluber here. Sanchez here. And then Nick's, you're going to be my long reliever emergency starter. Okay, I feel a tiny bit better about this season now. Kluber, you're going to have to make the most out of your start so we can get... I would love to get... Uh, there's no way I'm getting a division title. I'll just settle for a winning streak. That makes it very hard for us not to get the wild card game. Hey, Kovar, you are without pass and go going on a rehab assignment to the minors. I'm shutting you down for the season so that maybe next season you can come back and be a solid number four, number five starter. Uh, Gibson cleared waivers. There we go. <clears throat> Cleveland Scouts, Florida players. A thing just happened. Oh, a player in the Clippers is retiring. Matt Joyce. Well, I technically traded for you. Yeah, he's not making the Hall of Fame. But I don't think I traded much for you. So I'm not that fussed about it. Someone else, I bet someone else is retiring too. Oh no, Tyler Sear had a setback. Freaking White Sox won the damn AL champion or AL Central again. All right, don't lose focus. We need to keep winning as many games as we humanly possibly can. Really? And we're going to lose Doolittle. Oh, he's only out for a couple weeks. You were having such a good season. And now you're missing the playoffs. Well, third base is a position I don't have a lot of options at. Does Moncada play third? No. Vielma plays third pretty well. Calhoun's arm sucks, so I'd put him in at third. Yeah, we're going to try something crazy. I'm going to play Willie Calhoun at third base, and it's going to go awful. But I don't have other options, and at least he has the potential to have an outstanding bat. You don't need a good third baseman, right? It's optional. That's what I always heard. And he's in the worst part in the lineup, too. But I just needed a warm body. And maybe we'll turn on lights third base. It's going to go badly. Um, please give me the depth charts. Please make Fialma the defensive replacement as quickly as humanly possible.
I like actually that they're playing Almora, giving him some time at left field when people are hurt. That's very smart. Very smart. Uh, you go there. Where did you go? Damn it. I wanted you just to be a backup left field here. Um, Sheets should definitely be backing up at first base in every possible backup situation. There we go. Okay. Let's finish the season. Come on, Cleveland. We need to win out if we can. That win against Minnesota is very important. That pushes them back down the standings. Monkey Empires probably couldn't do a worse job. I think I made that joke last time, too. It's not really fair. No! Okay. Player development. Eh, Kluber's getting old. That's understandable. Sanchez got better movement. Adams lost a bit of control. Sheets got better. Cena's already starting his decline. Kovar got a little better. Guerrieri got a little better. Gibson got a tiny bit better. Hamrock didn't get any better, and I was kind of hoping for good things from him. Um, but that's just potential he's losing. He's not actualizing his abilities. Bennett got better. Morales got better. He's putting more speed on his fastball, too. You're becoming a real prospect now, which I don't think you were in the past. Correa's Fabian got worse at right. Okay. Any interesting AL winners? Alec Bohm? No. Hmm. Jacob Nix, of all the pitchers to win Pitcher of the Month, he is not the one I would have expected. Yes! We made the playoffs. We made it. So here's what's going to... What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to try to play the playoffs today. Um, rather than make you guys wait until next week again. Just because, I'll be perfectly honest with you, I'm pretty sure we're not going to go any farther than the first round. But we'll see what happens. Anything is possible. Uh, sim up to the beginning of the playoffs, if you would. Oh, the Yankees got the other wild card spot. Okay. And we just destroy the Royals. Yeah. And we got our Francisco Lindor got his batting title. Nice. Before I do anything else, I want to take a look at that Kansas City game. 17-6. to six. Yeah. Uh, Scene hit his 42nd home run. Alvarez got a double. Stolen base for Lindor. Kluber pitched fine. Not great, but fine. Wait, why would I be playing the Yankees? Oh, the wildcard teams play each other, don't they? They do. Uh, please play until the next, uh, up until my next game, please. And then we'll put together our postseason roster here. Okay. <clears throat> Atlanta won the wild card game. That's good for them. Let's take a look at the playoff roster. Is the playoff roster full? Who's on the active roster who's not on the playoff roster? Oh, Woolard. How many pitchers do I have? I have 10. So, yeah, I guess we will go ahead and put Woolard on the playoff roster. There we go. Pitching. 
And you'll again just throw some middle relief innings. Okay. Why aren't we pitching Kluber? Did Kluber, Kluber might have just pitched, actually. Yeah, he pitched four days ago. So Severino is rested. Gray's definitely had the better season. But Severino was last year's Cy Young. This is a tricky decision. They tell you to ride the hot hand. Who had better strikeout to walk ratio this year? Severino by almost a full K per nine. Great. It has to be. It has to be. I'm, I'm actually going to quickly swap you two while we're at it, by the way. Kluber at leadoff. Gray second. Severino third. And I will actually pitch Gray. All right. It all comes down to this. Do I make you wait for next time? I don't think I do. I think I'll go ahead and, and finish it. Even though some episodes have been super long. My plan was not for these episodes to be this long. Um, that's why I went to the shorter schedule. But it's fine. It's fine. Well, we have apparently have all of the edges in the lineup. Which is really weird to see. But comforting. Based purely on what we see here, we should be dominating this game. It should not remotely be close, given the raw talent we have. Literally, the only thing you have better is your number six hitter. That's just because Grandal's a really great catcher. I think he just looks at overall, actually. No, it's got to look at more than that, because otherwise this should be a wash. Now, we, of course, do have a serious problem in that we have a non-third baseman playing third base. And I will be very alert to what might happen there. Um, let's have you get it done, John Gray. Get it done. Oh, come on, Gettys. Really? Just gave up on that one? Could have caught it. Oh, that's... Uh, that's not so bad. I could have sworn that was an out. Or a home run for a minute there. Yeah! Oh, striking my throw, my play. Way to go, Vio. Valet. Whatever. Alright. They do have you, Darvish. And Moncada struck it, it swung at a terrible pitch. Really? Calhoun drives it to center. Yeah, don't don't even remotely try for second there. That would be very stupid. Lindor? Uh you drew the walk. Good work. That pitch was a borderline strike, but I will take it. Alright, scene. Show us what you can do. Really? You're the opposite of clutch scene. You had runners on first and second with one out, and you fouled out to catcher. On a pitch you, you shouldn't even been swinging at. Well, there's Fisher. He's getting it done. See, once again, the cutoff man just holds on to it. Good work, Fisher. You've been super clutch. Alvarez. Nah, it's going to be the end of the inning. It could have been another run, but, you know, Scene had to foul it off. All right, Gray. So you should never spell BB like that. B-E-E-B-E-E. -E -E -B -E -E. um, it's just two letters. It's just BB. It's a it's short for ball bearing. You can get ball bearing rifles in the United States, which really shouldn't surprise anybody. Well, how's he doing? Only 14 pitches. I like it. Oh, uh, really? Okay. Alvarez tried. 
Wait, why was Moncada over there? Strike three, you're out. Good work, Gray. You nicked the corner there. He's just like, I don't know what to do with that shit. Ooh, she hit that one hard. No one's looking at it. It's gone. Yeah. Pallet strikes out, which I'm actually okay with. I mean, I'm not okay with it, but... That's gonna be an out. Yeah, Springer's a pretty good at the center field thing. And here comes the top of the lineup. He drew a walk. Let's try a hit and run. Strike three. Oh, you struck out, though. Oh, you had to protect him. That was my fault. Oh, it says Moncada won a gold glove, too. When did Moncada win one? I don't know. I don't remember him ever winning a gold glove. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. That's a double. Yeah, you tried, Gettys. I don't blame you for that one. Just got to contain George Springer. Oh, Lord. God damn it. Really, Gray? That was the moment your freaking movement had to fail. That might be an infield single. Nope. Just barely got him, though. What the shit do you call that? I think that was another graphical bug. Okay, really? What's with all the ground balls all of a sudden? Come on, guys. Honestly, I need to use a little bit more strategy with pitchers, too. Um, I should have maybe told him to pitch around. Because Springer was such a good power hitter. Gray, try to keep it on the ground. There you go. Good things happen when you keep it on the ground. Alvarez. It was hit okay, but it's still going to be an out. Unless he fucks up. No, he didn't fuck up. Everyone's swinging at bad pitches. Ooh, Valid beat it out. Good work. I don't think it's going to matter. Oh, Geddes drew a walk. All right, Moncada. Runners on first and second. I rely on you. To hit a weak-ass ground ball. God damn it. That was a good throw by Lindor. He had to break to his left and make an outstanding throw. He's a good one, is our friend. Can you handle Eric Sogard? You hopefully can. Gray's at least going to give me um, some good innings. Oh, he hit that one very, very high, but very, very out. Come on, Lindor. What is with everyone? No one is getting a good piece. Everyone is swinging garbage. All right, I'm going to freaking take manual control because you guys can't be trusted not to swing at bad pitches. That was a splitter. Yeah, draw walks if you have to, but for fuck's sake, stop swinging at everything. Called strike, now you can swing at it. And another weak ground, weak fly ball. Well, at least that time we got a single. Alright, we're going to keep doing this. We're going to run him out of the game. Take the pitch. Okay, seriously, Cena's not stealing. That was a strike. 
Strike. Really? That is not a strike. strike three, you're that was bullshit. Number two was not remotely close to the strike zone. That umpire. Mm. Good play by Gettys. Don't walk. Uh, I guess walking Springer is not the worst thing you could have done. Especially if we get a double play out of it. Ah, uh, Odor beat it out. Oh, well. <clears throat> yes! No running on Valet. We got Jury's Familia in the room, in the game. I'm gonna maybe have Greg give me one more inning if he can. Um, actually, it wouldn't be the worst idea to actually bring in a reliever. Uh, definitely a righty. Mm. I will bring up I will warm up Heller and oh wait a minute I said ride your hot hand right Nix is definitely hot I'm gonna warm him up damn it could we qu please quit hitting everything directly at people Yeah, they've completely shut us down ever since that stupid home run. Gray's thrown only 70 pitches, so I can maybe get seven innings out of him. Especially he strikes out Goldschmidt. Nice work. Don't hit him. Oh, you walked him. Okay. I would like you to pitch around Myers. Because Myers could hit a home run. You hit him, which wasn't what I wanted. I'll have you go after Moustakis. And you walked him too. Alright, Eric Sogard is up. I'm going to put in Nix. Gray's clearly lost it. He's not very good. So all you have to do is let him get a fucking double. You let that piece of garbage hit a double and score three. I mean, that's Gray's fault for getting everyone on there, but my word, dude. Oh my god, that was awful. You let this freaking chump get a double on you. I don't know what to do at this point. I think we've already lost the game, and I think there's nothing we can do to recover. I'll go warm up Gibo. He'll pitch the eighth. We need to get on base, which means not grounding out or flying out every bloody at bat. Or striking out. Yeah, we're completely helpless now. Uh, you can. Calhoun's a pretty good hitter no matter who he faces. Unless he makes a freaking ridiculous diving stop. This is terrible. This is the third season in a row. We're not going to go anywhere in the playoffs, and it's getting really irritating. Well, there's buttons up here for substitutions. That's cool. All because of George frickin' Springer. And that little pissant second baseman, they, or shortstop they got. Anything could happen in baseball. That was one of the worst things they could have had. Would you quit lighting up all of my damn pictures all of a sudden? Don't start walking, people. That's much worse, Kibo. Okay, he caught it. Alright. I will warm up um, the Japanese guy. Here we go, him. All right, he's facing the heart of my order. We got to make this look good. And a home run from Lindor is definitely a good start. Oh. 
Why are you so good during the regular season scene and so terrible in the playoffs? That's an out. Right at the second baseman. Really? Alright, bring him in. That should be an out. That's a pretty weak fly ball. Now this is it. That's an awful start. Alright. Who could I pinch hit? Here. I would need a lefty. Uh, but I want on someone who's a good contact. I don't have anyone. I could pinch hit Almora. He's more likely to actually get on base. Yeah, at least Almora can maybe get on base. Or he could just strike out because he's awful. And we go with not a bang. <laughs> Screw you, Yankees. You didn't deserve this freaking win. You got lucky with that little piss ants double. That's Nix's fault. That, oh my god. We'll finish the place. We will we'll, we'll end this episode by talking about the good things that happened in this. Because that was, that was disappointing. That was really disappointing. Gray pitched a good game. He wasn't perfect, but he pitched a good game. I'll just take you guys off the... Oh, I can't take you off the DL until the actual world season is over. He pitched a good game. And then the bullpen let him down. And part of it was the fact that Doolittle was hurt. And I never, maybe should have brought up a different reliever. I'm going to root for the A's. I don't want the White Sox to win. A personal message. Senzel suffers a setback. He won't be back for a while. But it doesn't matter. Because the season's over anyway. The question is, I made the playoffs, but I traded Rosenthal, and I didn't make enough extra money. Do I get fired? I might get fired. Come on, A's. Damn it. Alright, go Braves. Of course, the Wolves are actually going to freaking sweep them. Stupid jerks. Hmm. Stupid White Sox. Unfreaking real. Well, I completed the team goal because we made the playoffs. I got a contract extension. Uh, market size is big. I got a better budget. I get a two-year deal now. Ooh. A 26-man roster. That creates interesting possibilities. creates very interesting possibilities we'll start with the team in review last time um that season was a struggle and i really think what we need to focus on in the off season we need to find a center fielder and i hate to say that maybe trade robinson i don't know we'll think about that next episode for now uh, we've got a contract for another two years. Um, that's more than I thought we'd have. Do we have any new people to sign? No. Okay. 
Um, we might find a new scouting director. I don't know. Um, so that'll be it for this episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the live game action this time. Um, there are parts that I definitely like. There's other parts that I think definitely need some work. They really need to work on cut of man animation. Um, and just like where the ball is, there was that weird part where the ball just like sat in front of the mound and I thought the pitcher was just going to let him go. And it turned out the pitcher had it the whole time. Um, but those are fairly minor things. I think they've done a, a big way to, I would just love to see what pitches are being thrown and in a bat. And in particular, I really want to see the break pattern, if you'll show it. But maybe they won't. And it would be a little bit more challenging. Um, that's going to be it for this episode, though. I hope you've liked. If you have, please remember to like and subscribe. Um, and comment down below. And until next time, this has been Avindian, and I bid you good day.